Hi, I'm Robert Osborne, and welcome. Nice to have you with us as we kick off TCM's fourth annual festival, which we take an extensive look at how minority groups have been portrayed in films over the years, from the silent era right up to the present time. Now, in earlier festivals, we've looked at the changes through the years at how African Americans and Asians and gays have been depicted in movies. This year, we're going to examine how Latinos have had to see their race portrayed on screen and why. And here to co-host with me every Tuesday and Thursday throughout May is Sean Noriega, professor at UCLA and the author of this very fine book called Shot in America, Television, the State, and the Rise of Chicano Cinema. Welcome, Sean. Thank you, Robert. It's great to be here. Now, Sean actually is the one who selected the movies that we're showing all month long, and he'll tell us why he's picked what he's chosen. And he's also going to be helping place the movies in context. And we're going to begin with a silent film short from director D.W. Griffith in 1910 called Ramona. Now, Ramona's a story I've heard about all my life. I mean, it's a great popular story, a lot of film versions done. Tell us why this one is particularly important for this festival. Well, I thought it was the perfect place to begin because, first of all, uh, the film is based on one of the more popular novels of the late 19th century, uh, Ramona, by Helen Hunt Jackson. And she had actually uh, based the novel on a government report that she did with Abbott Kinney, looking at the condition of Native Americans in the missions uh, along California. And her attempt was, having failed with the government report to get any attention, to really bring to popular sentiment the sense of uh, injustice that had been done against Native Americans. Now, in the course of the novel, she is also very explicitly dealing with the condition of Mexican Americans uh, in the Southwest. Mm -hmm. And what happens uh, with Griffith's film is it begins a process uh, th that follows throughout the history of cinema of taking what is a story about Mexicans and Native Americans and turning it into a story about uh, Spanish and Indians. The, the film itself uh, is fascinating because it's the first film that identifies the location it was shot in. And part of that was to play off the incredible popularity of, of not just the Ramona novel, but by this point, uh, an entire tourist industry that was building up around efforts to go see the real Ramona mm -hmm. and find the woman who it had uh, ostensibly been based on. So this is 17 minutes, right? It's a, yes. So, so this was kind of a feature film at that time. It was a yeah, it was a feature film for that yeah. that period in time. And Mary Pickford, Mary you know, Pickford stars as wow. Ramona, uh, exactly. and Henry B. Walthall as Al Alessandro. Right. Uh, so it's an early example of uh, racial masquerade, where uh, white actors portraying other uh, races, right. ethnicities. I want to ask you one question before you see the movie. What basically would you like us to learn from this festival and these films that you've chosen for us? Well, I think one is to really look back honestly at the history of how uh, Latinos have been portrayed uh, in Hollywood cinema, but also to take note of moments where, in some cases, these films were pivotal in the development of a director's career, a star's career, or in advancing a cinema as an art form. But what often does not get discussed is the fact that uh, the subject matter that was being dealt with was a very important part of that. Mm -hmm. And I think Ramon is clearly a good example mm -hmm. of how that's the case. Well, let's see the film. Okay. Here's the movie, which lasts only 17 minutes. But do stick around with us, because after the movie, Chan and I are going to be back to introduce the next film in our lineup. But here from 1910, directed by D.W. Griffith and starring Mary Pickford, Ramona. <laughs> 